Two things we need to talk about real quick before we get started. It's come to my attention that at the end of last week's vlog, a few of you actually thought that I was still going to cancel the vlog and I was not going to be doing these anymore, which means I need to be a little bit more careful with my clickbaity titles and communicate a little more clearly. That is not the case. However, I do want to talk a little bit more about that uh, here at the end of the vlog. Secondly, I got a new toy. Yes, that's right. I got a new lens because while this really great wide-angle lens is awesome for vlogging and walking around the city talking to myself and doing all that kind of stuff it's not the best for when we actually go in places and I want to get those beautiful close-up shots of all the wonderful things that we see in Dallas so today we're gonna to go visit one of our favorite coffee shops we're gonna film that for you guys we're gonna share it with you a little bit but not before we wish America a very happy belated birthday Alright guys, in the interest of being completely transparent with you, Otto's, that coffee shop we were just at, is one of our favorites in Dallas. However, there's no such thing as too basic in this family, and we are definitely not above a little trip to Starbucks Reserve every now and then. Not only that, this coffee right here is coffee that we brewed here in our house, and we just save these cups because we think they're really cool and great for on the go. So before you start thinking we're super cool and all we do is go hang out at third wave coffee shops, no. So this past week was 4th of July and me and Kate went up to the roof and we were looking at the fireworks and we started talking about freedom. She specifically brought it up, not in this patriotic sense, but more so what freedom looks like for the creative. See, I think a lot of times as creatives, we look at the creators that we admire and we think, man, they have all the freedom in the world from all of the responsibilities that I have. And so they can create all these great things. And if I had that level of freedom, I would be able to do the exact exact same thing. I really believe that we as a creative community have got it twisted. We spend all of our time pursuing freedom from our situation instead of pursuing discipline for our passion. And so what this looks like is excuses. What this looks like is people who are constantly too busy to do the things that they love. People who are too tired to pour themselves out into relationships and into creative projects. I genuinely believe that the people that we admire, the creators that we all follow, and aspired to be like were faced with the decision to say I can pursue freedom from my situation or I can pursue discipline for the thing that I love so that when and let's be honest if the opportunity ever presents itself to where I could pursue this full time, I can genuinely say, I have been giving this my all. I have been developing the discipline so that I know I can take this leap and I can be responsible and productive and effective in that leap. This is why I was really disappointed when I talked to some of you and y'all still had the impression that I was quitting the vlog. That's on me for my communication. But the truth is, this vlog for me is a very small exercise in discipline. I myself fall into the kind of arrogant trappings of believing that the creators that I admire just kind of fell backwards into this life of freedom from responsibility so they can do and create all this stuff. And that's the only difference between me and them. The real difference between me and them them is the fact that they found a way for a season to manage their responsibilities and their passions so that one day those could be one and the same thing. So I want to leave you with a very serious question. Seriously, take some time, look yourself in the mirror, and ask yourself this question. What do I want to be free from? And the answer might just be a nine to five job that I'm completely impassionate about. Unpassionate? Impassionate? Not passionate. And that is totally okay. But if that is the case, I want you to ask yourself a second question, which is this. Do I have the discipline that it takes 
to pursue that freedom. Because the truth is the people who do pursue it find eventually that they're really just kind of trading freedoms. This isn't a life of just, oh, I get to spend all my time creating and in reality, a lot of us are not ready for the marathon that it is to pursue a full-time creative profession. The same way that I, in the terrible shape that I'm in, could not run a marathon tomorrow, it would take training, it would take discipline mile by mile for me to build that up. I think us as creatives need to be honest with each other. Next time you tell someone or next time someone says to you, man, I'm just sick and tired of this job and I want to pursue X, Y, or Z full time, to ask them, great, what are you doing right now to get in the shape that you need to be to do that? Again, this vlog is just one of the very small ways that I myself am trying to develop some of those disciplines and that is why it's not going anywhere. Sorry to get your hopes up, but in an effort to keep developing that discipline, I will see you guys next week. Oh,